Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are making our first video of the year on one of the most popular trading methods and short-term investing methods in FIFA Ultimate Team the past couple years. It is called Thursday Flipping or Weekend League Flipping. Basically, what we do is we buy cards uh, before division rivals and weekend league rewards on Thursdays and sell them afterwards because that coin induction on the market actually makes prices rise for meta players that people want to upgrade and put into their squads. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about in today's video. This is actually not the first weekend league rewards, of course, but is division rivals rewards. And I still think that's going to have some sort of an impact on the market because some people will be taking coins from rivals rewards. They've been grinding the game, getting rewards that way. They've been playing the game. I forget, like, I've played just a couple. I need to play a few games tonight, man, so that I can get packs, right? People that are on the full game right now are grinding the game. This game, Rivals and Squad Battles, to get these packs. Like, this is how you get the packs in the game right now. So a lot of people are going to be playing Div Rivals, and there's going to be a lot of rewards that come from it. A lot of people will take the tradable packs, and I don't think that's a bad option, in my opinion. At this stage in the game, taking either the coins or the tradable packs... A lot of cards are still inflated on the market. A lot of cards that are pretty cheap in terms of their rating are going to be pretty cheap on the market. And that means for me that I think, uh, or, sorry, low rating, but actually kind of expensive still. You know, guys like a Tamori or maybe a guy that's like an 80 rated card that is still going for like 3 to 5k because of SBCs. So I might take the tradable packs or the coins. Kind of decide between the two, however many coins it is, and maybe what packs you get. Kind of decide, is it worth it to take a chance? or not on that right there. But these Rivals rewards that come out on Thursday, I know I'm making this video early, but I want to give you guys plenty of time to prepare and there's a lot to talk about. Uh, these rewards coming out, I do think will cause some prices to rise on the market like it always does. And a lot of stuff we're going to talk about today actually pertains to Team of the Week number two and just very popular players that are on this game. So I want to talk about all the stuff that could rise for uh, the... Thursday flipping period. A lot of times we buy these players on Wednesday, so I make this video earlier before rewards so that you can actually have a thought and kind of a concept of what is going on and what some players you might want to buy would be. So I look at this popular players page on Footbin all the time. You go to the Footbin homepage, players, drop down, and go to popular because these are the players people are searching up because they A, want to know their price because they're either selling the card or they want to buy it and put it in their teams. So there's a lot to talk about with players on this page, but there's a couple things that I want to mention, right? The stuff that is going to rise after Division Rivals Rewards is going to be meta cards from people that are upgrading their teams, they got coins, they got packs, and they want to get a better player in their team, all right? So you have to focus on meta. It's got to be Premier League, it's got to be Bundesliga, it's got to be a top five nation, in my opinion, that's really going to go up the most. And it's just got to be a player that's hype, right? That's why I look at this top 50 players list, because if these are the players people are searching up the most on Footbin, those are the players that they're wanting to buy the most or they're looking at and they're interested the most. So as I look at this list, I see a lot of different players. You see low rated players with a very high price, low rated players with a lower price, but still kind of high, and then high rated meta players with a high price and, you know, all types of cards in between. The things, the cards that I think you want to focus on on Wednesday today for rewards, before, you know, to see them rise after that period would be cards that are very meta, that are decently high rated, that aren't going to get packed that much during rewards because some people are just going to take the coins as well. And you might not see that much of like a dip in the market on some cards. You might just see them start to go up. So, and that's one of the things we're going to talk about today, um, timing that buy zone. But I also just want to talk about the players that you want to buy too. I know some of these guys are getting expensive, right? Sané, 141,000 coins. Dembele, 78K. Lucas Hernandez, not that expensive. Um, but some of these some of these really meta players, Havertz, 130. These guys are pretty expensive, right? So Thursday flipping, the meta players that you might want to be buying are probably ones that are going to be pretty expensive. And I'll talk about some players that in, are in a low range that might be very investable as well so again we kind of talked about the players it's got to be meta it's got to be popular let's talk about some you know market movements and like timing of those movements right last year on this first rivals rewards night there was a lot of panic selling and we saw it earlier this week even on some cards on sunday night let's click into a player like usman dembele and look at what happened before the squad battle rewards that were played on sunday night now this might not exactly show us everything but you can see that on Sunday night, 
He peaked on Monday. The, 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 the daily graph doesn't show all the full story. But Sunday night, what happened was a lot of cards were sold off. This Usman Dembele was like 90 or 85,000 coins morning time on Sunday. Sunday afternoon and evening, he got sold off down all the way to around 70,000 coins during the squad battle rewards period. And right when squad battle rewards came out, people got coins and they bought cards back. He went from 70,000 coins and later hit 92 on Monday. So what I want to focus on is that drop off. I think there is going to be a decent amount, not a huge amount, but there's going to be some sort of selling off of cards tonight on Wednesday night as we head into the rewards period on Thursday. All right. That's the one thing that I want you guys to focus on first, because there is going to be a bit of a sell-off headed into that period. And that's actually going to be when you want to time these buys. I don't know what else content's going to come out. That factors prices as well. The team of the week, which we're going to talk about, factors into prices. But the drop-off, which is before the actual rewards period, is when you want to buy. Because when those rewards come out, people are going to be taking the coins. They're going to open the couple packs that they get from rewards. And stuff is going to start to rise. So that is thing number one. If you're buying a gold card that is a meta card, like an Usman, like a Hernandez, like a Joe Gomez. This is also a decent time to maybe buy somebody for your team that's very high rated, like a Hazard maybe, or like an Mbappe if you still haven't bought him, or a, maybe a Pogba. Because yes, Friday the full game comes out and people will open packs for ones to watch, but those meta players are just gonna get more and more expensive and they're gonna even explode more on the market as more and more coins are input into this game. So I would look to buy those players before rewards and i would even you know look for some drop off right when you're looking around the market say hey what players do i want to buy again you look for meta you look for popular you look for how easy they are to link in people's squads example mbabu is a lot harder to link than somebody like willian uh who isn't super popular or meta but just harder to link makes him po possibly not go up as much again just gauging the hype around that player of course but uh that's kind of what you want to do with that Looking at these buys before rewards, looking at the drops, comparing prices on Footbin, watching how many percentage points a card has dropped compared to other players um, may give you a better opportunity of picking a card to invest in that might have um, you know, more potential to rise or a higher profit percentage and make more use of your coins. That's getting pretty technical, but you get the idea, right? Just watch for drop-offs on Wednesday night on Meta Cards, Prem, Bundesliga especially, maybe some La Liga, French, Brazil, of course, all that stuff as well, off of this top 50 players list, and just popular players that you know in foot. That is option number one. Now, I want to talk about the actual rewards period as well, because people are going to be opening packs. People will take the tradable packs because they're going to take the gamble, and you're going to have a bit of supply come on the market. Players like this, and this is a card that I have put in my mind, is somebody that I want to closely watch during rewards on the Thursday uh, division rival time frame, right? Because this is what happened with this card on the rewards night on Sunday, right? He went down and then boomed right back up. What happened with this Tamori was during squad battle rewards, he got a lot of supply. So he went from like, I think he was actually at 7k at rewards and squad battles. He went down almost a thousand coins and then quickly shot right back up. I think that there might be a small window during rewards, if you're awake for it, wherever you are in the world, for some of these low-rated cards that are still very meta, like Tamori, maybe even a guy like Nathan Ake, or other very low-rated cards that are going to get hit with supply, but are also very meta. Vinicius Jr. would fall in this category. Um, Nacho Fernandez would fall in that category. Other other cards below, even Alex Teixeira possibly, uh, and Babu. Uh, and Dombele. Those are types of players. Huang He Chan, he's 1800 coins, so he might not go that much higher. But low rated players like that that are still very meta, you know, 80 and below, they're going to get packed. They're going to have some supply. Their price will probably drop for a short amount of time and then they will bounce back up as people have demand and coins to go buy those players. That's one way you can look to make coins on Thursday as well, in my opinion, uh, with low rated players. And one also way to make coins with these early weeks of rewards and i'm actually going to talk about this as we have the first or second week in league and we have team of the week cards coming onto the game team of the weeks are incredible incredible cards to buy in the rewards period cards that are impacts for team of the week and cards from prior team of the weeks right so obviously right now when i'm recording this team of the week two is not out yet this is a prediction made by foot donk Elitish Design and Harrison, right? I'll leave the link to this prediction in the description. 
for credit for those guys. This is a good one. And of course, there's a lot of potential with this team in the week this week. There's also some interesting information that any all of us who have early access or pre-order the game will get one of these cards and tradable. I'll tell you about that in a second. And there's a lot of market potential with this too because a lot of cards could be going out of packs and this team of the week could be juiced. We'll see what EA wants to do with it and all that. But link investments are also a big part of Thursday flipping. And we talk about that throughout the entire year. Cards like Sun, who links to an... If you pack an informed Sun during your rewards, right? Who's going to be linking to a player like this? Sissoko and Dombele, um, you know, maybe Harry Kane. Um, other, you know... Regulon as a left back in the 4-5-1 formation, it would be a very popular link. So, you know, a card that's going to get packed a lot, or even some of these cards that, like Chilwell, is going to be a left back in the Prem. Not very meta, but let's say, you know, uh, what's a good card here? Let's say um, Hamas as a right wing. Very interesting. That's that's quite an interesting card. I don't see any cards right. Maybe Renato Sanchez, right? Let's just use this as an example, right? Renato Sanchez is a league on midfielder. He gets onto the game and he drops his new card, drops the prices of other league one midfielders because he's super hyped, super meta or whatever. Cards that are in the actual team of the week too are also good buys on rewards days. Not as much this week as maybe in uh, future weeks because of the amount of packs that will be open because weekend league rewards has a lot more tradable pack supply than um, division rivals. But with informs like this, what you see often is in the first hour or two or three after rewards, people pack those cards, they sell them, their prices drop. And if they're meta, they bounce right back up because people buy these informs for their squads for the weekend league, which I know we don't have that sort of demand now, but just with we're at this stage of the game where everybody wants coins, right? And division rivals is going to be putting coins out on the game and people are playing this game to learn it, to get better at it and to develop their teams. They know that playing games will get them those coins that they need. So that's why I'm again shouting out this team of the week. This is a prediction, of course, when the actual team of the week comes out, watch those cards in the first hour or so. And you might be able to pack yourself, not pack yourself, but you might be able to snag yourself a deal as one of those drops and then rises later with the influxion of coins on the market. Now I mentioned this is something that's flying under the radar. And if you're still watching this point in the video, GGCU, because this is some big information that really not a lot of people are talking about. As a part of the deadline day stuff that's going on with ones to watch, EA is not only, not only giving us a ones to watch pack, they're giving us this deadline day pack, right? Which is gonna be granted before October 16th. But let me talk to you about what this deadline day pack is. Starting, if you started playing FIFA by, basically if you pre-ordered FIFA and you started playing before the actual release date, which it would be 12 a.m. Uh, on October 9th. Uh, you'll be granted the deadline day pack. I think that actually says Pacific. So I guess you could, if you get on FIFA before this time, you'll be granted the deadline day pack, which includes the ones to watch loan items, which I think it's like a guaranteed uh, of three or four untradeable ones to watch loan players that will be a part of the OTW squad. And also you'll be getting an untradeable team of the week player item via a team of the week untradeable one player pack on or before October 16th. So this should be before October 16th because this is coming out on October 9th and EA so far has been on top of their release dates in terms of the rewards that they're giving out, I believe. Uh, except for some of like the attacker packs, defender packs and stuff like that. I think those are supposed to come out on the 9th as well. So all I'm saying is, if you played the game before the actual release date for the standard edition of FIFA or before this time right here, you're going to be getting an untradeable player from Team of the Week 2. And if this is Team of the Week 2, that is crazy. That is something that has never happened before. And that's going to impact the market because that gives people in FIFA, basically a lot of people, it gives them a inform in their club. Now, of course, a lot of us are going to pack these guys in the bottom. But you get a chance at Neymar, Holland, Lewandowski, Chilwell, Hernandez, Courtois, Sanchez, Son. If these guys are in Team of the Week tomorrow or today... That's crazy. And that's why I wanted to point this out at the end of the video today and just to talk about it for a second because this is wild. Like, this is honestly crazy, the potential that we have here. Getting an untradeable once-to-watch player for pre-ordering the game a certain amount of time ahead of the actual release is one thing. But giving everybody who played and got on the game before the standard edition releases a Team of the Week player from a Team of the Week that could be stacked, that's wild, all right? And I wanted to point that out 
And I think that's important because that's going to affect the market in the future. So that's why I wanted to say something about it today. Also, one last minute thing, uh, team of the week cards. This could be some sort of sort of an investment as well. I don't know if you would really see these cards prices drop unless there's a player in team of the week two that would impact any one of these card prices from um, team of the week one. Team of the week two cards would be a possible and decent investment as well for rewards uh, coming tonight or coming tomorrow on Thursday with the division rivals rewards and the coins that that's going to put on the market because people are just going to go buy cards with the coins that they do get. So again, that's what I wanted to make this video again today was just about the division rivals rewards. And I know you guys are like, it's only rivals. How is this going to change the market? I do think it is going to cause the market to go up. There are going to be a few packs opened, not a ton, but a few. And I think that could bring some supply to the lower rated players, which we could see them dip, rise again, and be a possible investment with that right there. Now, if you're a bit sketched on this and you're not sure, just be careful, right? Coins are precious, right? Coins are precious, especially at the beginning of the game. So just kind of be careful if you're if you're not wanting to invest. I totally understand, right? Because we have a big day on Friday with all the stuff coming out uh, regarding like the full edition, more people getting on the game, FIFA points and packs being open. It's gonna be wild, it's gonna be crazy. The whole wants to watch promo as well. But I just wanted to make this video today talking about the potential for a market rise on meta players and usable players because people are getting coins from division rivals so you guys enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out